there was a celebratory mood at the Prime Minister's election headquarters. His party, the right-wing VMRO DPMNE, was elected to a third four-year term, and his choice of president ushered in for a second term as well. But the Social Democrat opposition says this result was too good to be believed. The citizens of Macedonia are cheated and there are no conditions for a basic electoral process, which was conducted in an uncivilized manner and at the same time the constitutional right of the citizen was usurped. The Social Democratic Union of Macedonia, as the biggest opposition party, urgently asked for the creation of a government of technocrats. As the biggest opposition party, the Social Democrats are urgently asking for an interim government of technocrats to oversee a repeat election. What this means in practical terms is that the Social Democrats will likely refuse to take their seats in a new parliament. This does not on its own mean that the entire election result is rendered invalid. The VMRO may still assume their seats and rule if they achieve a majority. But their authority to govern would be undermined, and so a political crisis is on. Voting seemed to go smoothly in the Skopje district where Prime Minister Nikola Grevsky is elected, and he has his supporters here. The VMRO have built schools and hospitals, they have created jobs. President Ivanov does a good job fighting for the country overseas. But others point out that the country is losing its youth to better job markets and more open societies. Ognan Maleski, a political observer and commentator, believes that political polarization has led to more and more people out of the normal political process. When you lack democracy, the only way is to go out on the streets, on the squares, and uh, sometimes even attack the state institutions. I'm not supporting it, but uh, if things develop in that uh, direction, then it's easy to expect that it may happen here. That seems to be what the Social Democrats have decided to do. The ruling VMRO and its leader have been masters of the political game for a long time. Now the Social Democrats are indicating that they will no longer provide legitimacy to the system. John Seropoulos, Al Jazeera, Skopje.